Whether you are a new or returning player to F124, this video will help you get started. Starting off, when you first open the game, you'll have to select a race style. This setting changes the complexity of the car handling model you will drive on track. The casual race style is your best pick if you're unfamiliar with racing games. This race style gives you the easiest on track conditions, including a more stable car when driving over slippery surfaces like grass or an auto reset feature when going off the track. Only a few settings are available to make it easy for you to get to racing. The casual race style includes the adaptive AI option which slows down or speeds up depending on how quick you are. The standard race style is the most commonly used race style and gives you all the settings except for a few on-track simulation ones. In case you'd like the biggest challenge and most realistic feel like me, these few extra settings are available in the expert race style. If you feel like you're familiar enough to select standard or expert race styles, you will be able to adjust your driving assist. If you're new to F124, I can recommend you start off using the following driving assist settings. The steering and braking assist are turned off as having these on causes the game to partly break for you. It's better and not too hard to do this yourself. If these settings still feel too easy for you, you can slowly start turning off each assist one by one to feel the difference or you can turn off all the assists at once. But beware, the learning curve will be steep this way, but you'll learn it the quickest. Before you head into your first race, I have some must use settings to make your racing experience easier and faster. Go to the on-screen display settings and change the track map to a full track map to be able to see the whole track including where competitors are in the bottom left corner. This way you know where you are compared to all other cars on track except for just a few drivers that are close to you. The delta time helps you to see if you're improving your lap time or not during laps, so keep that enabled. Also keep the start lights enabled so you get a virtual countdown for the race start on your screen. The most important setting are the proximity arrows. By enabling those, the game will tell you when another driver is close to your car on track. White arrows point to the car that is close to you. A red arrow means the car is alongside you so you have to watch out when you turn in. You can enable the rear view mirror to be able to see behind you at all times, giving you a look behind of you at all times. Coupling this with the proximity arrows is a very strong tool to be aware of your surroundings. If the rear view mirror distracts you, turn it off and use the dedicated look behind button on your controller or steering wheel to look behind you when needed. Lastly, make sure you turn on the permanent practice and qualifying timer. This allows you to see the time left in the session at all times, rather than only for the last 5 minutes of a session. This will be a massive help in qualifying sessions especially. The hardest part of F124 is learning all the different tracks that are in the game. They all have hugely different characteristics. The dynamic racing line assist can help you massively in learning where to brake and accelerate on each different track. If you do not want to use the dynamic racing line, look for brake markers at each turn of the tracks. Brake marker boards or any other non-moving objects are great braking points to use. You normally brake between the 50 and 150 meter board for most turns, but this depends on the turn and track. Normally it goes like this. 150 meter board for super hard braking zones, 100 meter board for medium braking zones and 50 meter board for low braking zones. F1 cars are very special cars to drive. Here are some best practices for driving them most efficiently. Try to approach a braking zone in a straight line. Then brake in a straight line and release the brake before you start turning. Let the car roll through the corners and slowly reapply the throttle as you exit the turn. Use the trail braking technique. This means you brake full at first and then gradually remove the brake input. This optimizes the stopping power of the car. Some of the curbs on track will be easier to ride than others. Avoid hitting the race curbs that make your car jump up. In general though, F124 has pretty low curbs so it should not be a big big issue. Lastly, tuning the AI difficulty is often difficult to do. You can do it manually and adjust the AI manually by comparing your lap times to the ones of your in-game teammates. Each second difference equates to about 10 levels of AI difficulty. You can then adjust the AI difficulty up or down accordingly. You can also use an AI difficulty calculator like the one from F1 Labs. I've put a link in the description. By putting in your time trial lap time, the website then calculates your appropriate AI level. In general, default setups are okay, but you can also use one of the highest rated time trial setups for each track and then use them as a baseline setup yourself. Now with those tips and tricks, you're ready for F124. Don't forget to check out my controller, wheel and camera guides to get the ultra head start on your competitors. Peace!